Welcome back guys. So now that we have the idle state working, let's work on the locomotion state now. Here on the states, let's create the locomotion state. You will see that the asset has been created in the same place as the idle state. Let me do a quick pause and let's make the camera follow the animal. If I hit play, you'll see that the camera is not moving. Here on the raccoon, let's create an empty game object and call it internal components. Set it right here. And let's go to Malverse Animations, Common, Cinemachine, Set Camera States. And here we can use the Cinemachine main target prefab and drag it into the internal components. This is an empty game object that will be used as a target for the cinema machine and if I hit play again you will see that the camera is now following this game object and the raccoon is connected to the rigging camera system let's also set on the virtual cinema machine camera a closer radius to see better the raccoon yes that's better okay now that we have the locomotion state we need the locomotions animations. So let's create an empty substate machine, call it locomotion, and add the transitions from any state to locomotion. And as the conditions, I'm going to use state on, and I'm going to use state equals to one. And one is the ID for the locomotion state. Now, inside the locomotion substate machine, I'm going to create a new blend tree. Let me call it locomotion, and I'm going to use the same value as the tag, since the raccoon locomotion state needs a tag locomotion. Now, inside this locomotion blend tree, I'm going to add new motions, two at first, so I can show you how to make the animal work with very few animations. In the first motion with the threshold zero, I'm going to add the default idle and on the threshold one, I'm going to add the walk forward. Now, we also need input to move the animal. So I'm going to go to Malverse input and I'm going to add the Malverse input. This will create the horizontal and vertical connections to move the animal. Now, if I hit play and press the W key, he will move forward. And if I release the key, he will stop. You can see I did not use turning animations. So if you don't have them, we can fix that using the speeds. Some states like idle, locomotion and fly use speed sets and speed modifiers. By default, when you create the animal component, I give you the ground speed set, and this speed is connected to the idle and the locomotion state. If you open the speed dropdown, you will find a walk, trot, and roam speed modifiers. Each one has a connection with the vertical parameter on the animator. For a walk, the vertical speed is one, and you will see it here on the locomotion blend tree set in the threshold one. For example, if I add another motion, and instead of walk, I use the trot animation, trot forward, I will use the value of 2 for the vertical parameter. And here on the trot, I also have this parameter right here. The star index is set to 1, which is walk. If I hit play, I will walk. If I set it to 2, the star index, I will trot. Perfect. Now, so what happens if I do not have turning animations? You just need to increase the rotation that the animal will do additional to the root animation. So, for example, if I set it to 10 in the walk and trot speed modifiers, on those speeds, I can turn with only a few animations. Also, if my animations are not root motions, I also have a solution for that. Let me go quickly to the locomotion state and disable the root motion. 
if I try to move with WASD it will only rotate because we do not have root motion animations anymore. This can be solved by increasing the value of the position on the speed modifiers. Let me use one for the walk. Let me play again and you will see that we have movement without using root motions animations. Now let's keep improving this locomotion blend tree because the raccoon does have a few more animations we can use. Let me set it back to zero. And on the locomotion state, I'm going to enable back the root motion. I'm going to change this blend tree to a 2D freeform Cartesian type. And I'm going to add several motion fields that I need. I'm going to use the X for the horizontal and the Y for the vertical. So minus one will be left and one will be right. I'm going to do the same for the walk, the trot and the run animations. So minus one will be left, zero will be center and one will be right. Now let's set the correct animations to the motion fields. Minus one and zero should be turning left, zero zero should be idle and one and zero should be turning right. Okay. Let's check the animation. This one is turn left, this one is turn right. So turn right is right here. And idle is on the zero zero zero. Now do the same for whack, trot and run animations, and you should have a working advanced locomotion blend tree. So remember to test out the locomotion blend tree to see if it's working correctly right inside the animator. And with that, we have a working locomotion blend tree. Now going back to the raccoon, I'm going to test those speed changes by adding new inputs to speed up and speed down. So right click on the Malverse input or on the context menu and hit create speed up and again create and speed down and these are connected to the animal controller speed down method and speed up method so let's hit play and i'm turning with the a and d key w a s d key and if i hit two i'm going to trot and if I hit two again, I'm going to run. Now, if we want the turning animations to be tighter, what we need to do is to tight. What you only need to do is to go to general movement and then increase the turn multiplier. This will add additional rotation to the speeds. So let's set it to four. And I have a tighter turning animations. Also, if I set the turn limit angle to a lower value, you'll see that when I am at full speed and I try to turn, he will stop and then he will turn. But if I set it to 180, if I'm running, and I turn 180 degrees, he will keep the current speed and he will not slow down to turn. So you can use that value however you like. Again, lower values, he will stop and then turn. And higher values, he will keep the current speed while turning. And that's it, that is the locomotion state. In the next video we are going to do the false state.